5,000 robots have converged on Palais des Congrès. RoboCup is an international competition in Canada for the first time. And the winner gets something even more valuable than money. They get pride and recognition. Navni Paul has more. Paul's turning around and shooting and that's a goal. World Cup, watch out. There's another soccer competition this summer. These players are self-automated and programmed by this Dutch team. And it's a long shot and it's a second goal. But not all competitions are fun in games. In this circuit, teams are simulating rescue scenarios. For the next mission. This team from Mexico has hands-on experience. During an earthquake last year, they were called to help search for survivors. It's an experience Daniel Ariaja will never forget. It is not easy to be there because in those kind of situations, we can find a lot of things that we, don't not, we are not prepared to see. Ariaja says if it weren't for this competition, their robot would have never been ready for real life action. We can see other technology, other method, methods to to, the, to do the, the same task. So that's the important point of this competition. The competition is also about encouraging kids to code. This team from Pierre Elliott Trudeau Elementary came up with a new way to create music. Still, the most important lesson this student learned. I think we learned how to work as a team a lot. The competition wraps up Friday. Navnipal, CBC News, Montreal.